This is a drum made by Pearl. Uh, when I first got it, I wasn't too terribly happy with it. It had it's a style of cajon um, uh, modified by them. Um, it had snares on the inside, and I thought this snares really sounded horrible, so I took those out. Um, but the cajon uh, is designed so that it has uh, two playing surfaces, um, like a baton. So you've got a high end down here, uh, and then you've got a low end down here. So you can do, you know, some of the some of the bata. You can do stuff like that. Uh, I've been practicing um, uh, some of the techniques that I, I kind of have borrowed from uh, Indian classical music. I kind of bastardize them a little bit. I'm not really good at it, um, but it, it basically involves using a lot more wrist. Um, and there's two ways that I try to approach this. It's really difficult because uh, this part of your arm really gets a lot of work out with this. Uh, but one is using your <clears throat> index finger and ring finger side um, to, to create quicker, uh, uh, quicker notes. Same, the same concept, uh, which I find a little easier, is using the thumb um, and the ring, ring finger side of the hand. So I practice doing that while creating accent beats over here. Um, and as you can see, I'm not very good at it yet. yet, uh, at it yet. Uh, much like I'm not very good at talking. I think this motion might end up being a little bit more economic uh, uh, as far as energy goes, uh, rather than trying to get here. I think you can get louder, it's just that my my arms, my muscles haven't really gotten used to that type of uh, that type of movement. So, so these are some of the things that I'm practicing now. And the hand gets really tired really quickly. Some of the stuff I'm working on. Mm -hmm. 